Welcome to a quick tutorial for the benchmarking tool Firmark, aka the third donut. I'll show you where to download Firmark, how to install and how to properly run a benchmark on Firmark. Simply go to geeks3d.com slash Firmark or click the link in the video description if you're too lazy to type, just like me. You will instantaneously see the green download button, smash it and save the setup file locally. Then double click the setup file you just downloaded and follow the installation process that is being shown to you. The first one is simply accepting the license agreement. Then you select the destination for the installation. You may then choose to create a start menu folder or not. And finally you can create a desktop shortcut or even a quick launch icon in the taskbar. I chose not to have any of that and simply installed Firmark. Once the installation is finished, it takes only a couple of seconds by the way, you can launch Firmark directly and also look at the release notes. You don't have to look at the release notes though. Now you are being greeted with a rather small but powerful interface. Since you are here to benchmark your system, only the benchmark section on the right hand side is really relevant for you. Still a look at the left hand side is not forbidden. You will find two tools, GPU Z and GPU Shark that will allow for monitoring your GPU during the benchmark. It will show load, temperature, TDP and so forth. Let's get back to the right hand side though. There are four presets, the most common one will certainly be the full HD 1080p preset. You can also run the 720p, 1440p or 4k presets. Simply click the one that suits your needs and also doesn't kill your screen. In case you want to stress test your GPU, you may simply use the GPU stress test button on the upper right hand corner. It will last indefinitely until you cancel it. Now back to the benchmark. All presets take 60 seconds of this playing deferred donut. On the top left hand corner you can see the frames per second, the GPU usage in percent, the TDP and other insightful facts. Once the benchmark is done, you will get a result window and you can submit your benchmarks to gpuscore.top slash firmark. Now you can also compare yourself with other GPUs. Be careful though, this score that you just achieved is related to the frames per second. Those are of course higher when the resolution is lower. So make sure to look at the proper resolution when you compare your GPU with others. To wrap things up, my score on my GTX 1080 is 4318 points. It's not the best, but also not the worst. What score has your system achieved? Leave a comment down below with that score, like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.